Man, just filmed myself putting, lifting that up there off the tractor bucket. I obviously didn't press the uh, record button. So anyway, lost that footage. But it's up. So let's go and get the uh, tail, get that up there. Right, I am actually ready to uh, to pump this up. So if you have a look, I got my uh, cables connected there into the stator. Coiled around a bit of slack so it can spin. It will never spin 180 because the wind always comes from uh, just two directions here. So uh, I've got my cables cable tied together so it's shorted out so it can't run away, and I get it pumped up a bit so it clears this area here and then we can uh, fiddle around with it a bit on locked at the minute so if it's turning the right way let's uh, take it off the uh, brake for a second see if it spins up there we go she's spinning it is absolutely miles out of balance rocking around all over the place so I need to sort that out definitely um, before I do much more to it I can stop it from just by just connecting these cables up down here so I'm in no danger at the minute yeah it's miles out so you have to sort that out yeah Good, she's spinning. So it's spinning. It's connected up in the box, so we'll go down into the shed, see if we're getting any voltage off of it. It's very calm today. There was a bit of a burst of wind as I was doing it, but now it's pretty calm. Yeah, I'm seeing a really good voltage off of that. I'm pleased with that. 40 volts. I mean, it's not making any power at the minute. It's not connected to anything. It's got no load on it, but it means that in a fairly small wind we get the voltage we need no problem out of it because I was a bit worried about that because um because the coils wound for 12 volt really because I made it for a different situation so um I was a bit worried that it wouldn't make any power until it's uh until it's in high wind speed but it's it's actually doing right because that wasn't high wind speed that was just a little burst of about six seven mile an hour wind we got up to 40 volts so I'm pleased with that we're definitely making power, check it out. If I let it spin up. Yeah, put the power there. I've got no way of monitoring it really at the minute, unfortunately. So, uh, have it like that for now. 
and get it wired up, connected to the battery, then it can't run out of control. Right, the uh, wind's picked up a bit, so apologies for that. I'll just cut out this uh, piece of old brake disc and we use that as a balancing weight. I found where the nose is just by seeing which way it wants to play, but just when it goes calm. Right, I'm going to pump it back up a bit. Not too much, still we're not there yet. Maybe just get it pumped up a little bit. where I got my balancing weight from, old brake disc. Right, still a tiny bit out, but it's a lot better, and it's not gonna spin that fast when it's in, the, when it's in use. So that's pretty good. Probably leave it like that for now, and then just next time I've got it down, I'll uh, add a tiny bit more weight, but that's, uh, that's almost got it before the pole was swinging side to side, and it's not now. That's pretty good. Tell you what, it makes a bit of noise. Can you hear that? Wow. All right, let's, uh, let's put this brake back on. There we go. There it is. So, hey everyone, pretty windy out. I thought I'd just quickly uh, come in and, and show you. I've got a little meter set up now. Hope you can see that okay. Um, see, we got 500 watts there. 400, look. It's actually doing some pretty good power. Um, it's not that windy out, and I know these measurements don't mean an awful lot until I tell you what the wind speed is. But, um, but I'll do that in a proper video where I'll go through it all and we'll try and work out the efficiencies and stuff. But I just thought I'd show that it is making power. There are some improvements I need to make. Oh, 700, 800, 800 watts we saw there. So yeah, there are some improvements. The uh, tail isn't big enough. So I've, uh, I've got a bit of plywood strapped to it out there. The weather's horrible. Got a bit of plywood strapped to it out there just to add some extra surface area to the tail so I need to improve that. The mast isn't strong enough really, the mast needs to be stronger so I need to reinforce that and I need to sort out the wiring, oh, apologies, I need to sort out the wiring because it's all a bit of a mess but I thought I'd just quickly show you that it's uh, it does work. I'm always keen to uh, confirm something's worthwhile before spending too much time and energy on it and, uh, and this is a confirmation of that so now I'm going to get it all fine tuned and then we'll do a proper test. Right, I've just uh, turned the hydro off, we've had 6.1 kilowatt hours off the hydro already today and it's only just uh, 6 o'clock or so so that would have gone to uh, about 8 kilowatt hours at least for today but we've got so much wind coming in I'm just going to uh, save the wear and tear on, on the hydro, there's no point running both so we just run on the wind for tonight. <laughs> There's a lot of power, a lot of power coming in off that. Do you know, I reckon that would easily do a kilowatt if I went out there and held it into the wind on, because I've got a rope on it at the minute. But I reckon that would easily do a kilowatt. Good going. We'll, uh, we'll leave that doing its thing for tonight and uh, go and use some of that lovely power. Good morning everyone. Still windy out. I've uh, taken the turbine apart. I've just uh, added that extra back section there to the tail. So 
that's going to give me loads of leverage now and, uh, and that should hold it into the wind a lot longer we saw 1100 watts last night in a gust uh, so it's doing good so just uh, giving that a bit of paint and then we'll get that mounted back on and we need to make some uh, changes to the mast so the next job I'm going to do is I'm going to take sorry about the wind I can't help it I've got this really thick walled pipe so I'm going to slide them because they fit inside these scaffolds and they they work out so that they end up about here and down into the inside of the hollow tube down into the concrete so that's gonna like at least triple the the strength of this down at the base um so that's good uh so yeah just gonna slide them down and they're the exact size of the pipe so that's the, you know that's where this would bend out right at the base there and they're gonna sit down there in here adding a lot of strength to that. Yeah, perfect fit so that's going to mean that, that that tube won't be able to bend because there's no way it's going to bend this it has to be a serious serious thing to bend that I reckon I've at least doubled the strength by doing this so I reckon I could go about a third higher again and still be safe right we're uh, back up and running That was a thousand watts. Sustained 800. How about that? There she goes. This is that thing go. I'm trying to shield the wind from the microphone a bit. It's hard. See what our wind speed is. Don't know if you can see that. If not, I'll read it out. 16, 18, 19. Nineteen. So I can't, uh, I can't really monitor how much power it's making and check the wind speed at the same time. But if we, uh, if we look at sort of the averages on the gusts, we're seeing sort of, uh, I don't know, between 300 and 500. You know, with wind, it's very difficult because it's squared with velocity. Twice, twice the wind speed it is. Is it four times the power or eight times the power? Someone correct me on that. It's either four or eight times because it's squared. I'm not very good at maths. But anyway, it's very difficult to predict because a tiny little bit of change in wind speed and you'll double the power. Well, yeah, tiny little change. A few miles an hour, you'll double the power. So it's very difficult to work it out accurately. But in that 19 mile an hour wind speed, we're looking at, you know, that was, that was a nice, I think around 400 watts when we're seeing the 19 mile an hour. So we can get a rough idea from that with the efficiency. Let's check that. And suddenly the weather's all nice again in the space of like 10 minutes. Yeah, sorry about the uh, sound. So obviously I'm working on a wind turbine. Wind is part of it. Uh, so I think we were seeing about five, four, 450, 480, 500 watts, something like that in a 19 mile an hour wind thereabouts. So I think we're about 17, 18. Between between 17 and 20% efficiency, depending on what power we're getting, um, it's very hard to say when I'm on my own. In the next video, next wind turbine video anyway, I'll do a proper calculation of it. I'll get a dot watching the power. I'll test the wind speed and we'll work out, you know, how it does through the range. But I've seen 1,100 watts off that, and I made the thing from scratch. So very pleased with that. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Just a quick little sneaky look at what's coming for the next video. Ta -da.